should probably start off this video with a quick fit check, I reckon, because uh, starting to warm up here in Victoria, the regular Queensland attire and how we uh, how we match it to the Victorian weather. Alfie chewed two dollar Kmart thongs because replacing them would be just just utterly ridiculous. It'd break the bank. Plus, it's never too cold for a pair of thongs. Americans are very confused right now. Second of all, we got uh, just above knee shorts because, you know, it's never too cold for a pair of shorts, but it's also never too hot for a pair of long jeans, but I just don't feel like wearing long jeans today. Of course, we have the massive, big, oversized, baggy hoodie because, uh, once again, it's a little bit too cold, but it's not too cold that it's not too hot. And then of course, because we're in all black, we have to uh, liven up the mood a little bit with the DTAC uh, party hat. But then if you want to go stealth as well, it's uh, it's fully reversible. So you can just like, you know, if you want to go discreet, you kind of just flip it over and you're good to go. But we're going party mode today anyway, because we're working on the BRZ. It's not really the party car, but, uh, but we're going to make it party at the next track event. This thing here, thoroughly thoroughly impressed me at the Haunted Hills track event the other day and I was absolutely blown away by just how much of a difference just a set of tires and a set of coilovers make to this thing. So today we're going to be taking it one step further and we're going to be putting on a set of brand new brakes because the last time this thing had a brake service I cannot find it in the service logs whatsoever and the car's got 120,000 k's on it. Now as you guys have been seeing previously on these videos we have booked in for a sand down track session in the next couple of weeks. It's literally two weeks away and we gave these brakes a pretty hard work out at Haunted Hills, but it's going to be nothing compared to hot lapping at Sandown Raceway. I know for a fact that the brake fluid in this thing isn't the greatest, and so I'd rather maximize my track time, do it all now preemptively, rather than, you know, go to the track, absolutely smash it for a couple of laps, and then have to pull off early because my brake fluid isn't great, or because my pads or rotors fail, ended up heating them up and warping them. I don't know, but yeah. I just don't want that to happen today. So anyway, we're gonna need a set of brakes for the track, so I emailed my good friends over at Protex, and they helped me out with a full brake upgrade package for the BRZ that's still a good mix between street and track because this is still my daily driver, but it's gonna be able to handle the heat and the pressure and everything of taking it to the track, ripping it around for a few laps, and it's not gonna to get too hot. So today on the BRZ, Protex completely hooked it up and we have a fresh set of their Ultra Discs as well as their Ultra Ceramic Brake Pads as well, which is just gonna be absolutely wicked. Plus we have a full bottle of uh, brake fluid, which is High Performance Super Dot 4, which goes up to a crazy high boiling temperature. So we shouldn't have an issue on track. But once again, what we have in the car at the moment is, uh, I don't know how old it is, it doesn't look that great. And I know for a fact that when we go to sand down, and hot lapping, we're probably gonna find that this would have been really good to do beforehand, so we're gonna get it done. Now, if you guys like absolutely anything in this video or wanna pick up a set of Protex brakes, you can pick them up from any major retailer, Autobahn, Super Cheap, Automotive Superstore, so there's most likely a set of brakes that is already in your city ready to go. So jump down to your local auto parts store, go pick them up, and uh, yeah. I'm keen to get these things on the car and see how they feel. For one, Protex really hooked it up last minute and we have the track event in literally two weeks. So what we decided to do is I really wanna learn how this car handles different situations and, and how different brakes affect different tracks and everything else as well. And I think the BRZ is a perfect thing for it because I know it's gonna be incredibly consistent and super reliable to the point where I can just keep throwing brakes and pads at it and I can work out what best suits me and best suits my situation. So what we decided to do was go with a set of street track and not go with a crazy rotor setup because we can always upgrade that in the future. And then their ultra ceramic pads, I believe is one step down from their top of the range pads, which I believe they're making for me at the moment. They're making up a very special mix just for me at the moment. So we're gonna have like a one of one brake pad that's gonna be made by Protex. That's gonna be going for the BRZ, which is freaking cool. But either way, this isn't the top of the line. This is all like one or two steps down from their top of the line. And it's gonna allow us to see how these brakes fare and then we can upgrade it from there and have some fun playing around with the setup in the future. Right, so thankfully these brakes don't have that annoying weird screw that you need to use like an impact driver on. Um, so I'm happy about that. Makes the day a lot easier. Um, so the brakes in there actually have a fair amount of life left, um, but I'll show you guys once we sort of get everything out. But the biggest thing I've noticed is the amount of scoring in the actual uh, like rotor face itself. It's pretty hectic and then all the way around you can see those little heat spots all over it so going with a brand new set of brakes is definitely going to make this thing feel a little bit better. Alright so first of all what we'll do we will remove the pads, remove the rotor and then uh, after that we should be, uh, should be all good to go.
All right, so, uh, yeah. As I thought, it may be a little bit more difficult to get these brakes off. Um, I just had to use that nut and use the, the thread point, push them out, but I was a little bit worried because they had, because uh, I had so much corrosion inside the holes. But luckily the threads were there, I managed to get these brakes off. Um, but I did try a hammer, so these are pretty much screwed anyway. But um, the pads themselves actually had a fair amount of life left in them. As you guys can see, that's a, uh, that's a brand new pad versus that one there. So there's definitely like, there's definitely a decent amount of pad left. So I'm pretty stoked about that, but uh, I'm happy to be changing it out anyway. Alrighty, so I made this little single bleeder, um, but pretty much it's just a little bit of the new brake fluid at the bottom with a vac line uh, in a bottle. Um, and this is most definitely not a piece of vac line uh, from the RX-7 uh, blow valve because it is the only clear piece of vac line that I have. All right, I've, uh, I've honestly never bled a set of brakes before, so this could be very interesting. Um, I've looked up a few tutorials, but... Oh, you can see the color difference already. That's massive. Alrighty, well, it seems to be working. Guess now all I do is just top up the reservoir with this and flush those brakes completely fluid, completely through and uh, change all the color of the fluid. Easy done. Alrighty guys, so it is currently the afternoon and I've been on it for a couple of days. I have completely sliced my thumb open on the rears. It's been going really smoothly, but I just noticed at the very front there, there was one little piece that just didn't seem to line up. And, and so anyway, I've messaged Protex and apparently my car, which is an early 2012, has actually- What's up guys? Hope you're having a wicked day. Brake parts from the later 2013 model. So pretty cool. I have a little bit of a brake upgrade from the previous generation, which is, which is honestly pretty cool. But it also means that my rear brake pads, my rear rotors, which everything actually fit up and is in there at the moment, my rear brake pads, my rear brake rotors, and my front rotors are all completely different. So, unfortunately, being a Saturday, I've already ripped the whole car apart. I don't intend on putting it all back together because I've done all the fluid, I've done everything. I'm just gonna quickly jack the car up, leave it here, and I'll get back to it. He's gonna ship it all from Danny Nong at the moment. He's gonna be shipping it all from Danny Nong on Monday, so it means I should have everything on Tuesday, ready to start my new job on Wednesday. It's cutting it fine, but either way, I can still take the, uh, Still take the FD to work, that'd be pretty fun. Either way, we're all good. We're here, ready to go. And um, yeah, catch you guys up on uh, on Tuesday. Alrighty guys, well it's currently a couple of days later and I cannot thank Protex enough for getting all this stuff sent out. Um, all the brakes have now been bled with the new fluid, which is awesome. So the Super Dot 4, that's all there ready to go. So now all we have to do is uh, we have a brand new set of rear rotors, front rotors and rear pads. So all of this stuff here needs to come off. All of this needs to come off. All of this, actually I have the, the standard front rotors, but the, all those brakes need to come off there as well. Uh, it shouldn't actually be too big of a process to be honest. But one of the things I did want to ask you guys is if there is anyone in the Melbourne area that has a early uh, 2012 BRZ or 86, I think they did the brake upgrade from like the late 2013 or something like that, but uh, basically I asked Protex what they wanted me to do with the complete set of brakes. Everything apart from the front pads is all being changed. Um, so Protex is sending out the new brakes, but then they, I asked them, hey, what do you want me to do with the old brakes? Do you want me to bring them back to the warehouse? Do you want me to take them to an autobahn or something like that? And they basically said, if there's someone out there that needs a set of brakes and I can do a giveaway with it, go for it. So obviously not everyone has an early 2012 BRZ or 86. So if you guys are in the Melbourne area, you do have one and you do want to come pick up this full brake kit minus the front pads, definitely let me know on Instagram. Just go down and follow me and uh, yeah, I will happily give you a full set of free brakes for your BRZ or 86. Alrighty, time for the... Uh Time for the hat to go on, and uh, let's get into these brakes. guys so the rears have been changed over you can actually see there is a massive difference between these two rotors um, there is a slight size difference but also this is a single one piece well they're all one piece but this is like a single disc 
Whereas this right here has the cooling vents down it. So it may even be a BRZ option. I'm not quite sure. Um, cause I know that the, cause I know that they had the GTS, which was in the 86. They had a GT86, GTS86, and then they had the BRZ. And I believe the BRZ and the GDS were the same. And then a few little suspension components were different. Um, but interestingly, um, yeah, it could be, could be that. It could just be the fact that it's like, it could have been the fact that uh, one of my previous owners of this car could have just put a big brake kit on it. Who knows? Um, but either way, uh, the rears are now on, the fronts are now the correct size. Um, so they fill out the entire pad surface, which is good. So I'm very, very excited. What we're gonna do right now, chuck the wheels back on and then we can put it down on the ground, make sure the brakes all work properly. Time to lay her down. God bless. Beautiful. All right, let's look up all these wheels, make sure I did everything right. Alrighty, so I'll leave the bonnet up for a second. We'll jump in, make sure the handbrake works, of course. And then uh, take it for a little bit of a rip around. See what we can feel. Alrighty, so we've built up a nice firm pedal feel, which is good. Go check the fluid real quick and then we'll get her out. We'll take her for a bit of a drive and see what she feels like. All right, so we're gonna take her for a first little drive. Um, is it they are actually pre-bed in? And if you do like a regular bed in process with these Protex brakes, um, you actually end up baking uh, the coating that's on the rotors uh, onto the pads, which can therefore lead to the pads not working as efficiently. They'll still work, but they won't work as efficiently. So, so these pads and rotors, you literally drive around until the coating comes off the rotors. You drive around perfectly normal. The pads are already set up. Even when you install them, you don't even have to wipe the faces down. It's literally that simple. So, so cool. Alrighty, let's go for a quick little drive, make sure the brakes work properly, and uh, we're not going to be ripping it, we're not going to be doing any forceful braking, we're just going to drive it like a regular BRZ. Well guys, the car performed just as it should. As you guys can see, all the cross hatching and the machining on the uh, rotors there, all the, uh, all the coatings starting to come off. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that a couple of times, we'll take it around the block, and uh, yeah, but for the most part, performed absolutely perfect. God, she looks good. So does this thing. Oof.